RE TV. Aloha Aina. I'm Ahu Ke Kahu Cartwell with the Kawani Foundation here on Free Hawaii TV, a part of the Free Hawaii Broadcasting Network. Every now and then, something small comes along that exposes something larger for the big lie that it is. And that is what has now happened right here in Hawaii. The Red Hill fuel leak has accomplished something that few other issues or disasters can. For many years, it was just Hawaiians who were on the receiving end of the oppressive policies of the illegal U.S. occupation in Hawaii, but no more. U.S. military families, their own people, have had to go to Capitol Hill in Washington, D.C. to demand something be done. Since the U.S. military refuses to empty the Red Hill fuel tanks, and as a result, the poisoning of their own people continues. Think of it, seven public schools still cannot use tap water because the U.S. Navy's water contamination continues. The U.S. Navy refuses to act because they claim they need those tanks full of jet fuel to keep their military aircraft active. And that should tell you plenty. See, the fact that the U.S. Navy considers their war machine more important than people's health and well-being reveals the real reason the U.S. has been in Hawaii all along, to use Hawaii as a buffer against attack. With Red Hill, it isn't just Hawaiians who are at risk, it's everyone. And for the first time, it's everyone who can see that they're expendable, that America's priorities and interests come first, not Hawaii's or those of anyone who lives in Hawaii. Think the U.S. is here to protect Hawaii? Red Hill has exposed that big lie because you can now see they're using Hawaii to protect the U.S. instead. I'm at Huke Kahu Cardwell with the Kowani Foundation right here on the Free Hawaii Broadcasting Network. Hawaii Broadcasting Network.